Okay. Okay, this rod is a rod within a rod. It's very easy to break, and especially the hinge. Okay, you pull the rod up. Mm -hmm. See like that? See? Okay. And then you just let it come straight down. Okay. Okay. And it slides right in. And this thing is going to be wet like a stay wedge. Over here. It says, this is wasn't this supposed to go down? That's the lock, right? So there it goes. So slides in. Okay. Okay. Once it goes in, you can read the indicators on the bottom, uh -huh. and it will tell you where the sample is. How? Which oh, it says uh, it says holder, holder and exchange position. Yeah. They're both lit. Well, they're in an exchange position. Holder. That means it's in this state, in the holder state. Oh, okay. Now it turns off the holder part. Yeah. So now you hear it. And it will be in here. Oh. So the sample is, is in here now. Yeah. So if we take and put this. Down again. Down again. The holder light comes on. Yeah, it's in there for you to look at. Okay. And if we turn on our IR camera, okay. we should be able to see it. They are in the yeah. 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 Okay. Got now, it. when it did that, okay, you can close the minus. Close minimize. Minimize. I always minimize. Okay, when it does that, bring the lever down, put the sample in, this window will automatically come up. Okay. You select your holder. Okay. Double click. Double click. Say okay. Okay. All right. So what was the problem? There is a difference between sample exchange and home position. Okay. You notice there are two indications here. Sample exchange uh -huh. is where you have to remove the sample. Okay. Okay. So we need to click that. Yes. To remove. Okay. Home oh. position is when you send the stage to 10 millimeters. That's our calibration position. Okay. Okay. Hit on. So it's gonna it's starting at fifteen KV. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What'd you hit then? Auto contrast and brightness. Oh that's A B C? Mm -hmm. Which is also over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't normally use home position. I click on click on the WD. Where's WD? Working distance. Working distance. Click on it. It's right there. It's oh, oh, okay. It's a drop-in down menu. Oh. And hit ten millimeters. Uh, ten millimeters. Okay. Now. Highlight Z. This one? Mm-hmm. Type in 10.0. Tell it to go. Move. Now, just by hitting home, that will automatically bring it up. Okay, you got to remember, you're dealing with two things. One is your beam, objective lens, focal and one is the Z height. Okay. When you do WD, you're setting the focal length. 
Okay. When you're setting Z, the, uh, yeah. you're setting the Z height, the Z bringing height. the sample to the focal length. Okay, got it. Okay. Now, just real quick, click off, click right here, or click right there. Click anywhere. Just double, double click. Or click and drag. Try that. Oh. Well, you're moving the stage, right? Mm-hmm. What did you press over there? Okay. I just hit auto contrast and brightness. Okay. So whenever you change magnification, you just press that, it would... What I'm doing is nothing. I'm just hitting auto contrast and brightness. Okay. Okay. Now, you also have auto focus. Right. See if there's auto focus there. You can click or click up on the icon. Um. Oh, here auto. That's up. That's uh, auto focus. Yeah. Right. So that's when the computer takes over and tries to focus. Bingo. See, brings it in focus. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, the big knob is mag. Also, remember I told you there's a lot of other things? There's <laughs> you got scroll, you got a lot of other things. Okay. okay. Alright. Now let's do this. Go ahead and turn off the beam. Okay. We're gonna remove the sample. Okay. Do you remember? Mm hmm Not manual this time, but electronic. Okay. Okay. You turn the beam off. Mm hmm It shut the beam off in mm -hmm. the picture. Okay. Then it's back ex You have exchange. Click that. Okay. So that's the same as clicking this button yes. over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that one went off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some people like to do it all software. Some right. Some people like to do it manual. Remember, I said there's many ways you can do things on this. Right, right. I'm just going to show you one. You'll fall into the others, whichever feels most comfortable for you. Okay. Now, the vent button. Or you can bend it up here. By clicking that. Yes. Let's just, we did that first, let's just do it from here then. Is it okay to vent? Yep, the light changed over there. Unlatch the door. Take this down. Oh, no, no, do we wait? Thank you. 
know what's going on by your picture. Mm -hmm. By the pictorial diagram. Yeah. So it will turn gray. Go gray, and then if you listen, you'll hear the door open. Then you can reach in and grab it. The door is opening, and it actually shows an animation. <laughs> yeah. It's like the little red idiot light in your car dash. <laughs> yep, now I can now I can go in correctly. Yeah. Okay, pull the handle up slightly. Then let it come straight down. Okay. And slide it in. Sometimes it'll it'll stick on you. Because it's new. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Okay, I see. Yeah, here. Yeah. What happened was, uh, you gotta be, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Like the first time, what I did was when he goes all the way in and grabs, it'll grab it. Okay, pull that too far. Well, he kind of so now it's part of the way. Part part way. It's continuous. You see, it comes up right. Then you go straight up. So we have to pull up because we need to come across this. So this gets pushed down and allow yeah, us to. You have you have to have enough probably enough. Momentum, should we say? Yeah. Vent? Yeah, go ahead. And we'll let Ben Jerry pump it down, put it in, and get a picture. On the screen? Yeah. It's real easy. It simply doesn't take long to pump down at all. So would you say you're on schedule, Harry, or you want a little more to do? Probably a little more time because we kind of stumbled our foot here. Okay. We had problem with the holder for a little bit. Yep, there it is. All right, Jerry, go ahead. Here you go. Just close it up. And you can either push the button or you can do it over here. Well, we want to put it back in the chamber, don't we? Yes, we do. We got to pump it down first. But Pump it down first. Because the door is closed. See, this is all white. Right. Evac? Yep. There you go. Ah, see, yeah, there's a, there's a door in there somewhere. I don't see where you're showing. See, this is white. See, it's all white? Yeah. That's your exchange lock. The door slides right here. You can actually see you that. You can actually see it slide. Like, the car, there's a cartoon there that shows. Yeah. All right. I've turned it back so it'll stop flashing when it's done. It'll actually turn gray. And that will stop flashing. Yes. And the door will raise up.